Next, at Leicester, Luton losing home advantage. Well, this Filbert Street pitch couldn't be more different from the plastic of Kenilworth Road. It's murky, it's heavy, it's fast on top in some places, but it's Luton who've looked the more aggressive, the more positive. They've certainly not come here to lie down. Bennett challenged fiercely. Foster nudging it forward. Harford, Steen, they're really battling for everything. Wilson. Breaker over on the right-hand side. Really pushed up from the fullback position. In goes Steen, and here's Harford. Terrific reaction from Mick Harford. And a superstar for Luton Town. Well, they deserve that. They came here with a positive attitude. They really attacked the game and the ball from the start. And uh, Harford showed his quality there. There's a lovely ball out there to fullback Tim Breaker. But uh, I wonder here, did uh, Brian Steen go for a header or was it a crafty flick on for uh, Mick Harford? But anyhow, Harford's in there first and through the legs of goalkeeper Ogrizovic. 1-0. But still Luton controlling things really in this second half, holding on to that one goal lead. One by Harford and uh, the crowd don't like him and Coventry don't like him. They're chasing him all over the place. He's aggressive and he's very dangerous. 70 miles and they're at home. Grimes with a shot. Well, comfortably wide there, but uh, worth a try. He's quite capable of popping those in. And the frustration showing among the Coventry supporters and their team. It's well won by Mal Donaghy. And here's uh, Brian Steen with a little bit of room. Flicked up. And here's Harford. Number two, Mick Harford yet again. Well, Luton are really carving them open. Coventry have no answer to this. The... FA Cup winners are being taught a cup lesson here. Nice little ball from Mickey Weir. Brian Steen's on his way through. When he crosses the ball, I think that's uh, deflected by Steve Sedgley. But the first and the quickest to adjust is Harford beating Downs and Agrizovic. Fine goal. And Luton winning the ball in all the best places here's Madonna not a great pass but uh, Breaker makes it a better one looking for support in the middle of the field Weir lets it run Harford sets it up for Grimes great shot well they're really running the show rumblings of discontent from the Coventry faithful as Luton go forward again Wilson stopped by Rogers. And Weir has it again, and he scores! Coventry in all sorts of a mess here, and Luton have made it 3-0. Mickey Weir, sandwiched between two giants, somehow manages to get the ball and bang it into the back of the net. Everything going right for Luton. Long ball forward, two big fellas can't get it. The little Scott grabs it, pulls it to the side, and whistles it by Grizovic. Wilson backpedals, downs kick. Here's Huchin. Good header, but no real danger for Seeley except from the flying boot of Mal Donaghy. Coventry, a little bit more possession, a little bit more aggression with the Bennett back to Burrows. Here's Huchin. Can Pickering get it? Still got it. Bounces for him, and he scores! Well, a bit of fortune there for Coventry and Nick Pickering, but he took it well. Luton dallied a little bit on it. Perhaps should have got it clear. Again, it's Hushan with a chance. Well, he might have been the hero at Wembley in the FA Cup, but I think Keith Hushan there won't be going too near Wembley in this competition if he misses chances like Wilson 
Here's Harford, brings it down. Great turn. Oh, and a lovely, a lovely save and a great shot. Terrific football there from Luton and Harford. Bennett dodging one tackle. Beaten by McDonough, but back they come again. Mickey Jim out here is uh, Pickering and fullback Downs. Difficult cross for Seeley. Bennett, can he turn? All sorts of problems here. Donaghy gets it away. And then Grimes to safety. Here's Harford changing it to Brian Steen out here. And a chance and a great save. Nice bit of interplay between Mick Harford and Brian Steen with the substitute Cook caught out there as the cross came up. With the clock ticking away, Breaker with the throw to Brian Steen. Lovely turn. Sedgley's challenge. He's down and it's a penalty. Not too much doubt about that. Brian Steen turned terrifically well there in a very confined space. And nothing has really gone right for Coventry in this game. No reason why he should start there as Sedgley brings him down. But it does give Mick Harford a chance for a second Littlewoods Cup hat-trick. He got three, of course, against Wigan in the previous round. Two already tonight, and he's never missed from the penalty spot for Luton. Oh dear, he has now, though. Well, was that a good save, or wasn't it a particularly good penalty? It gives the Coventry crowd something to shout about. Bit of despair from Mick Harford. I don't think it's going to matter too much because we're very close to the end of the game now. Oh, Grzovic did well. And the corner not going to be quite so dangerous. The reason from Coventry, but Luton can afford them that pleasure. Well, he struck it powerfully, but he struck it straight. Normally, of course, that scores. Not this time. So into injury time now. Maldonado well, there picking it up. He's had Speedy in his pocket for most of the game and he keeps possession comfortably here. And that is the final whistle. 3-1 the final score. As good a performance as Luton have given all season. Conceding home advantage. But playing here with authority and passion on a very difficult Filbert Street pitch.